In this tutorial, we will see the basic operations mainly used in Idea Statica connection. If you click the New Operation button, a new window will open named Select Manufacturing Operation. Here we see five lines of operations. In this tutorial, we will see the operations in the first and fourth lines as basic operations. Begin with, we can use the operation cut to cut the members. In Idea Statica, many operations already have such a feature, but in some cases, you need to do it manually. As an important point, you can only cut the ended members, not the continuous members. Here in the data window, member represents the modified item and cut by represents the entity that will cut the member. The last important point for this operation is the cutting method. We have mainly three topologies here and these are bounding box, surface, surface, all around and miter cut. If you make a cut between the column and beam one, you can use bounding box and surface. However, if you generate a cut between the column and beam two, you have to use surface or surface all around. Bounding box provides a complete and flat cut, besides surface cut provides a cut fitted to the surface of the cutting member. The feature offset can be used in surface and surface, all around cuts to create a specific gap between the modified member and the column. You can either use flanges and the webs to determine the type and the thickness of the welds between the beam and the column. As the second basic operation, you can use stiffener. The stiffener operation generates stiffening plates which correspond to the flanges of the cut member. In the data window, on member asks for the place of the stiffener. If you select not specified, you can change the position manually. On the other hand, if you select M2, the stiffener plates will be located as the continuation of the flanges, and both the stiffeners and the beam will have same inclination. If you select M2 at the line related to, you can change the number and position of the plates by the choices, lower, upper, both and center. Material quality and plate thickness can also be changed with the material and thickness properties. By using location, the stiffener can be placed on the front of the web, rear or both. To change the vertical position and inclination, you can use X, position and alpha, inclination, respectively. You can generate a gap between the flanges of the column and the plate, by using offset top and offset bottom. Repeat count specifies the number of plates placed on each side and, chamfered corners, cuts the inner corners of the plate to avoid a collision. As the third, we use wideners to connect members. When you select it, the plates will automatically generate. The most important part in the data window is the cross-section parts. By default, webs are selected. If you select all parts, some new wideners will be added. Or if you select others, this is how it will change. Let's select all parts for now, and continue. As you see, the wideners on the flanges are not fitted to the column. So if you want to change the dimensions, you can use width or depth. For example, let's change the width as 60. As you see, when we change the width, all the wideners will vary in size. But we just want to change the flange widener size. In this case, we can select flanges from cross-section parts and add a new widener from the operations window. So now, I have two wideners operations in my model, and the dimensions are different. Also you can change the depth of the wideners and change the shape as rectangular, triangular, chamfered or triangular with flange. If you have such a column and a base plate shown on the screen, you can use the operation, rib. You have to select the column M1 and base plate BP1 here, and you can change material, thickness, width and depth as mentioned before. In the previous operations we learned that, we can change the shape of the ribs as chamfered, triangular or rectangular. By using cross-section parts, surface and location, we can change the place of the ribs. If you need some openings on the members, such as a custolated beam, you can easily use this operation. You will get an opening on your column with the default properties. Let's switch to the side view. Firstly, you need to select the element on which you want the opening. If you have two beams in a column in your model, you have nine choices here, two flanges and one web for each. 
Then you need to select the shape of the opening and it can be rectangle, circle, polygon, notch, dog bone and dog bone arc. The remaining parameters will change according to your selection of the relevant shape. To see the difference, select others and check the parameters. The next basic operation is stiffening member. Stiffening members are used to simulate a joint element with cross sections. The main difference between a stiffening member and a standard member is, you cannot load a stiffening member, as in the standard member. As you see, we have a diagonal stiffening member here. Some operations in Idea Statica are manual so you may need some extra operations as you will see here. To have a 45 degree inclined member, you need to insert 45 to gamma pitch and related values to other rotations or offsets. After determining the cross section and the length, you have to decide the most important choice. What should the origin be? And what are the differences? Joint corresponds to a global reference system. Member corresponds to a member and if you select it, then you have to select related member and its plate as references. Plate corresponds to a plate and it's similar to member. Lastly, if you uncheck the extra operations cut 3 and EP1, you cannot use the stiffening member exactly as you want. As mentioned before, we use stiffener operation to add stiffening plates. However, the stiffener operation is more automatic and you cannot change a lot. In this new operation named stiffening plate, the main difference is, you have much more options for positioning the plate. As the previous one, you can locate the plate according to joint, member and plate. Other features in the data window are about the dimensions, rotations and offsets of the plate in this operation. As you know, many operations in Idea Statica have implemented cutting processes. However in some cases, you may need some kind of additional cuts both for plates or members. You can use the stiffening plate as a modified item, and it can cut by beam 1 or vice versa. For example, in this case I have a plate in the middle of the beam, and here we have two possibilities. First, we can cut the plate with the beam, or we can cut the beam with the plate. If you want to cut the plate, you need to select the plate SP1 here in the first line, and the beam in the second line, and if you want to cut the beam, do the opposite. There are also two options for cutting methods. These are surface and bounding box, as mentioned before. You can examine the difference by selecting both. Similarly, many operations have already welds, but you may need to add welds manually. Here you can add it. Let's assume that we have no welds between the plate and the beam. To generate it, first add weld or contact operation. Then select edge to surface in placement line and weld in type line. Here you need to select SP1. Edge index means the name of the edge of the plate. You can introduce 1 to 4, and the intersection line of the beam and the plate corresponds to 3. So let's write here 3. Moreover, you need to select beam 1 and web 1, here in the second plate. Then select double fillet weld, and here it is.